I was quite fortunate to be involved in many of the Intel products and microprocessors. The Pentium processor, Pentium Pro, Centrino, Core, almost anything that uh, Intel has done. Uh, I, was, I had the luck to be part of it. At the Technion, I studied electrical engineering. I wanted to do something that will combine my life to science, but also to practicality and doing real things. My studies at the Technion really helped me in uh, many facets. One, the basic knowledge on the subject matter, which is semiconductors and computer architecture. But it also taught me a lot about basics in math and in science, which is really needed. And last but not least, the ability to think beyond what I really know and explore new ideas, new thoughts, and new opportunities that come from the knowledge I have. My electrical engineering uh, degree at the Technion led me directly to what I started doing in Italy at the time, and as a matter of fact, doing almost until today. Being part of computer architecture is uh, like in a house architecture. Someone has to define how it will look, what kind of functions it will have, what kind of experience, what kind of usage uh, someone who uses the computer will need, and therefore build the capabilities inside of the computer to make what the computer needs to do for the user. We have several thousands of uh, technical graduates through the years at uh, Intel in general, but predominantly at our Intel facility in Haifa, which is very close to the Technion. And we have people uh, employed at Intel even when they are still students, and usually the better ones uh, get a job offer at Intel. And they have a huge impact because uh, uh, one of the big product lines uh, of microprocessors, communication, wireless communication, and other things are being developed in our facilities in Haifa and in other places in Israel. Why Israel is a good uh, kind of innovation bed is a very good question. Uh, I'm not sure I have the best answer for this one, but I think Israelis in general have this tendency to look for the other way to do things, uh, just going through the regular path is something that considered not good enough. And I think being a good, innovative entrepreneurship is always looking for the thing that nobody have thought about it before. There is a lot of appreciation outside of Israel to the Technion and its graduates. The appreciation is very much around the professionalism, the knowledge, the ability to create new ideas, and the ability to go do big things. I'm very happy about the new computer center of the Technion, which is being established. I believe computing is fundamental to our life, and the ability of the Technion to be at the state of the art of these activities is important to Israel, and definitely important to Intel, which is one of the users of technology, research, information, and also uh, people that are coming from this institute. So, I'm extremely excited and looking forward for a big success and very good, fruitful interactions between the Technion and Intel in the future. The American Technion Society fulfills a very important role for the Technion, especially for an academic institute which is so far away from the center of many things. It supplies the connections to funds, to connection to research facilities, to connection to academic interaction, which is very important to the viability of any academic institute to be fresh, vibrant, and current.